dish soap or brush soap? Which one wins in how to clean your brushes? We're gonna start with dish soap. I usually do this in front of the sink and I rub it back and forth on my hand and you can see the bubbles are turning a peachy color. So I'm rinsing it in that, rinsing off my hand. And we'll try again, see if more comes out. And the bubbles aren't white yet. So I just go in a circle like this in a way that I don't ever open the bristles up. If you feel more comfortable, you could do this instead. And again, I'm getting even, instead of just the peachy colors now, I'm getting into some brown coming out of there. So that's three times now I need some new soap. There we go. Now we have some white bubbles. All right, let's rinse that out, and now we'll rinse it in the cleaner water. Tap it on the bottom to make sure that there's no dirty bubbles left in there. And now I'm gonna try it on the brush cleaner and preserver. Well, the bubbles are not completely white this time. So I think I'm getting a little bit more out with this, although it was mostly clean. Let's try a quill brush, starting with this brush cleaner and preserver. This one I have to be a little more careful with because it's a soft brush and it'd be easy to just splay open those bristles and do damage. Okay, let's try again with this. Still more coming out. Nope, still blue. Who would have thought that that much paint could live in this brush? Okay. I think that was white. Now let's try some dish soap. Pushing down hard on that base and it is still white. What's dripping onto the plate has tiny bits of blue in it though. So which one wins the challenge? This the Master's Brush Cleaner and Preserver, or the E-Cover Dish Soap. As far as getting the brush clean, I think they both worked about the same. It seemed like no matter how many times we washed the brush, more could come out. Probably I could get more out now if I worked on it. Um, as far as the preserver, the dish soap doesn't have any kind of preserver in it. And so I am recommending the brush cleaner at least sometimes. And if you have sable brushes, I definitely recommend the brush cleaner because natural bristles can dry out. The paint doesn't flow through them as well when they're dried out as it does when they're kept moisturized and preserved properly. However, if you're just starting out, just the big thing is to make sure that they're clean and make sure that you use a dish soap that is not gonna have harsh chemicals in it. I hope this is helpful to you in keeping your brushes clean.